just how hard is it to grow up in Chicago's inner city? Where hardship is an everyday reality. For some children, the odds of success are all but impossible. Too many of our children face violence, fear, and isolation every day, and most cannot imagine a world beyond the street where they live. Chicago's Northwestern University Settlement addresses this stark reality by offering programs for children and families that give them a chance to get on the right track and change their lives. Beginning with a Head Start program for children as young as three years old and continuing with Rowe Elementary School all the way up to those in their early teens, the settlement provides a variety of safe, well-planned programs that combine academic rigor, social-emotional enrichment, sports, and the arts to help children beat the odds. There is one settlement program in particular that has been helping children escape the ever-present shadow of crime, gangs, and poverty for more than 100 years. This is a place where children can be themselves without fear or judgment, where they can make new friends and learn new things about themselves and the world around them. This very special place in southern Wisconsin is House in the Wood Camp. We run a summer camp here and we sing songs and we act goofy. But at the end of the summer, um, our goal is to change lives and save lives. House in the Wood is the only settlement program that gets children out of the city. It is a co-ed camp for children from 7 to 12 with rules, customs, and structure that provide a framework for personal growth. Campers live in cabins assigned by gender and age. The cabin becomes their home for two weeks. They live by its rules and do everything as a cabin group. there for each other. We care and love each other like a family. You've got the counselors and some of the LITs as your older brothers and sisters, the littler campers as your younger brothers and sisters, and it's really cool to have a second family like that. Uh, when I hear someone say, take ownership and say, here we're family, that's where the heart is. That's when I know that this child is really saying, here I feel safe, here I feel loved, here I feel like I'm part of something bigger than me. At House in the Wood, children adapt to new challenges, help one another, and become leaders. Every aspect of the program is designed to give campers the tools they will need to succeed, not just at camp, but in life. I think they definitely take back more social skills. That's one of our big things we teach here. They learn more respect, respect for themselves and others. They take back conflict resolution. That's something we teach every day here. I think they also take back being able to mediate between their peers, um, understanding each other, understanding our differences. I think one of the main things they escape from is their financial circumstances, having that lack of food, um, that lack of support, you know, where they come from. Um, they don't get three meals at home. Over here, they get three meals. I think they get to escape from those things and get a, almost a temporary slash permanent solution. Temporary, of course, because they're just here for two weeks but the memory of that is permanent. Let's go. Let's go. Back to Chicago. Back to Chicago. Cause that's where I go. That's where I go. I couldn't pay anybody for the experience that my children have gotten. And I can see that it's gonna go a long way with them. So really camp is another foundation, another root that your kids have locked into. The foundation for personal success begins with responsibility. Learning to pitch in and do your part is fundamental to changing attitudes and lives. 
we encourage giving back to the community for one. That's what our all camp cleanup is all about. Every single morning before we go to flag, all the cabins clean up their cabins. Each child has a different duty to do, whether it be scrubbing toilets, dusting the windowsills, sweeping the porch, mopping the bathroom floors. You gotta clean up every day, so it makes me get used to doing chores and stuff. I used to hate doing chores, and I was like, okay, you know, I'm helping out the house and stuff. It's not that big of a deal anymore. What it does is it teaches them that there's other things in life besides what they know in their immediate family. And I think for some of them, it may give them the motivation to strive for something different instead of just, oh, this is the way it always is, this is the way it's going to be, and there's nothing I can do to change it. Because we have staff here, and we have other people here that have been where they are, and they have changed their lives. And so when the, when the kids, the seven-year-olds, look at, look at teenagers that have been where they have been, they say, this is a role model right in front of me, and I can be like this person. And I think it gives them hope. Hope is so valuable. The anger was the most thing that got me in trouble when I was in Chicago. The fights at school, fights outside of school. I'm just happy. I, I'm just happy to be here, cause I don't know what I'd do if I never came. In their neighborhoods, they're seeing those same individuals on the corner selling drugs. You know, um, not only that, they're seeing a lot of people falling under the umbrella of being homeless and having nothing to look forward to and they're thinking that's gonna be their life. Um, I know I was one who was, uh, I was consumed by gang violence and gangs, so knowing that uh, I had a place to come to in the summer took me away from that. It took me away from that element to change my life. I didn't really have a father growing up, so camp been like a, a father to me. It taught me how to connect with other people because I really didn't open up to a lot of people, so I feel relaxed, relieved. I feel like respond, more responsible coming to this camp. I get only rave, rave reviews about my son. When, when someone meets him, he's a great kid, great guy, loved him. He could be on my team. But he got that because of the program. I think and because I went through the program, and that's why I sent my children through the program, because that's, that is exactly what they learn, respect. This helped him to communicate with all types of people. So, you know, campus brings that information to you, makes, brings the world to you, brings life to you. Seeing the change from when they were younger to where they're at now, um, that, that's what House of the Wood Camp is about. Though House in the Wood works hard to keep costs low compared to similar private camps, it is still beyond the reach of most of the families it serves. They can afford only a small portion of the expense of sending their children to camp. The balance is largely covered through contributions from individual donors. When donors are donating the money, they're also donating their, their heart, their good intentions towards these children. And they're, they're giving, the donors are giving these children of the city an opportunity that they might not have otherwise. In recent years, the rising costs of running camps like this have outpaced fundraising efforts, forcing many camps to close. Today, House in the Wood is one of only four camps dedicated to serving low-income kids from Chicago. Northwestern University Settlement is committed to nurturing, educating, and inspiring youth from Chicago's inner city to providing these children with unique experiences that have the power to transform their lives. House in the Wood Camp needs your support to make it happen.